okay so here we need to uh, from which we are just and so and here we need to run npm run y okay now we can visit localhost 8000 yes okay so here we need to do the all the crud operations so uh, first of all okay we have a form and everything's uh, ready here inside our resources and then js and then category okay Now, once someone attach an image, we have to get that image and store into this thing. So here we need to test start category data dot image equal to test start rip. So we have to give it a rip reference here. Category image okay and here we will write this dot files of zero okay we got the file and we store into this now we also want to display this file so here we need to put that like a div. Okay, here we need to have an image and we don't need this. Uh, plus we need to give it a uh, new category image display. let's look to this thing okay we don't need to have such spacing here so if we put a condition here like vf vf category data dot image dot name because uh, every image contain name so that's why that's okay well, we don't have that thing now now let's use a file reader so let reader is to new file reader and reader dot add event listener upload and here we need to find this. And that's it. Now we need to by reference new category emitter display dot src equal to reader dot result. Okay. Now let's test this. Okay, for some reason files are undefined. Okay. 
okay so we forgot to put ref reps here okay now let's test it again We are not getting image here. This this is unknown. Yeah, I think we also need to we did dot we did dot URL and we will pass this dot category data dot image yeah this will not work okay the image is coming but the image is too large i think so we can give up with up 200 pixel uh 150 Uh, let's try 100 no, 150 is good to have so let's copy this uh, let's give it another plus of uh, width 150 pixel for example and copy this class go to css if that is CSS, one more thing, we don't need this, these variables. Okay, let's leave it. Maybe we use it later. Okay, so that's this. And get it a bit of 150 pixel. Come back, reload. Okay, then the class was not good to be here. Okay, let's cut this class from here and go to image. This is fine. Now, also, if we check here, set app category, we have a file and we don't have text, so let's put a category. This is fine. Okay, now let's come back and we have to work on this thing so here we need to remove this make it async because we will have an API call here so what I will need here let form data we can remove form data because we have also image now form data dot append and name this dot category data dot name and copy this image and this dot category dot data dot image and we will try gauge constant response to new no not new sorry await and okay here we need to make a service so let's uh, create a new service uh, categories underscore service dot js and here we need to import 
file ATT file and I'm sorry HTTP and HTTP file from HTTP service we need to make a method export export function and function should be create data next I create category and we we'll get data from here and return HTTP file dot HTTP file dot post and we have to post it let's check our route list which we are testing route list okay and we need to post it to categories okay so we already have this uh, because if we are using store here and insert store we have all these things we just need to append this and also we are making a base url here so every uh, it's, um, let's explain it because uh, uh, it will get the API URL from store and the store contained this thing so we just need to uh, use this thing like the last the route okay so categories and it will post this this is fine uh, let's save it we can import it import Orders, category service, and it's we uh, have go back and to services and category service, and now okay, sorry, we need to work from here. And now uh, this dot create category, and we will have to pass from data here. And let's console the response. And here for now, we will just enter something like some error. Okay, now. Let's test this. New category. Select this. Oh, this is not good. This should not be email, this should be text. Now we can just remove it from HTML. Okay, we have to console. Okay, we are getting data and it's something like this. Uh, so we can check in our network tab and we don't have anything here. Now, what is the problem? Let's check it. Okay, because we are not passing data here. Let's reload. Click here. New category. Choose an image. And now, yes, we are getting a uh, name category name and also the image so uh, now let's do some validations so simple we can test uh, request validate
and we need to validate name it should be required and let's put main length equal to three also we need to validate mh and it can be validated like required also mh and we can put it here gpg this and gpg for example and if i remove this and click i'm getting error because we have errors now so let's display the validation errors inside our category we can make a table of and delete vpeg and we can put v up here like if else dot name so display 